January 2nd, 2022, and I'm doing a uh, first reading for the new year, and the Dakini deck. I'm just going to do an overall reading. I'm going to do a four-card reading, just an overall beginning of 2022. Kini deck reading. Okay, the first card that I pick is the issue. Second is the challenge. Third card is the path. And fourth card is where the path will lead. So the issue is responsibility, one steward. And um, so what automatically comes to mind is, you know, we're still, we're going into the third year of a global pandemic. So responsibility um, is really important right now. So that's what comes up for me, responsibility. Let's, for each other, one steward, we're, we're one, you know, the, the ancient yogis and sages all asserted that there is no someone else. You know, one steward, one steward of this precious life, of our planet, and of all humanity. <laughs> what the challenge is to that is sexual, seeds gallop. So how I would read that is... You know, the life force, the energy, the chi, the kundalini, um, that's a challenge, right? And so seeds gallop, you know, to, to create life. And so uh, sexual is a very energy, can be either a very uh, primal energy, instinct-driven, procreation-driven, or if we raise it up, that same energy can connect us to um, our higher self or higher worlds or, or a more compassionate uh, way of being in the world, uh, which would foster one steward, like understanding how deeply we really are all connected. Um, so what is the path in light of that? Throne, number four. So this is, card is really about the necessity to um, build a deep foundation. So the, a deep foundation that you can rule from, you know, your life. So if your foundation, you know, as they say, a house built on sand, right, versus, <laughs> versus granite, for instance. But so what would constitute um, a strong foundation for each of us It's in our lives? Um, so I would say that a, a strong foundation for everyone is truth you know are we standing in our own truth um and that's a loaded word these days but um you know if it if something that you believe is true if that tends to bring uh, if that doesn't harm yourself and other beings it's probably trustworthy. And I know for any, any statement like that, you know, there can be contradictions. But in general, I would say a strong foundation is one that relies on truth and compassion and an understanding that we have a responsibility to understand who we are, what is our place in this vast <laughs> and small and enormous world that we live in with so many different ideas and people what is our truth and what is our foundation that helps us move as one steward taking responsibility you know the thumbs up right that's the thumb is our ego so how do we move with our ego and our personality and our connection you know to the totality of who we are and and you know humble in the mystery how do we how do we create a solid foundation 
so that we can um, acknowledge that. So if with a strong foundation in place, where will that lead? <clears throat> I got number five, shaman. And form is interchangeable. What I love about this card is, you know, it reminds us, you know, that in the mystery, in the totality, in this next year, if we want to bring it right down, form is interchangeable. Um, so as we move through the year, I, I would say that this is suggesting that, you know, our thoughts create form, right? Nothing exists without energy and intention and thought, and those are interchangeable. And that helps to change the form of our life. So if something isn't working, if we find the foundation really isn't serving um, ourselves or our family or our community or the world, you know, then it's our responsibility to investigate um, and and change those those thoughts, change the foundation. It's interchangeable. I'm going to read. Uh, about this card number five, shaman. And it, it's form is interchangeable, really, you know, leading to freedom. And so as a woman walks barefoot through a village, the hot sand turns to cool water. She has an animated shadow that follows her even in the full light of day. Giant owl plants and large clay pots line her path. Astonished villagers watch her. So I love that she has an animated shadow that follows her even in the full light of day. So I think part of a, what makes a strong foundation is understanding that, you know, in the mystery of the totality of who we are, there we do have shadow aspects that um, aren't always revealed and we don't know them because they're shadow. So to be open to the willingness of allowing the unknown to keep us humble <laughs> and so that we can change our mind we can we can change our viewpoints as we as we become more compassionate um, and more effective right and more effective in taking responsibility for what we all share that we are all a part of and um, a question that uh, comes with this card is how do you surrender your fixed inner beliefs so your outer life can change. How do you surrender your fixed inner beliefs so your outer life can change? And those fixed inner beliefs really are the foundation um, because what we believe really determines often uh, how we behave and how life meets us, right? So. Perhaps with each of us, we have some fixed inner beliefs that really it's time <laughs> to throw them out with 2021 and, oops, my glasses, and bring them in to the new year. Um, and I'll see if there's anything else written here that I want to share. Ah. It's uh, in interesting. Indulgence in physical stimulants, stimulants creates addictions to substances or sex. And really that was the challenge, right? Um, because sexual, uh, when we are using the life force in a way that is informed by our lower instincts only, that can lead to addictions and cravings and often is harmful to ourselves and uh, to others. Whereas when that sexual energy, that life force primal energy is, is, um, is directed um, by a compassionate, more integrated knowing, um, I think that's the potent place where our fixed beliefs can change. So, our, so I would read this as for 2022, as we enter 2022, to perhaps consider 
that we have a responsibility as one steward of our own life and, and our life connected to all of life, and that the responsibility is to create a strong foundation, and the foundation rests on our fixed beliefs, our fixed inner beliefs, and how do we examine those? And I would suggest that um, we start by kindness, and uh, compassion, and perhaps the willingness to um, the willingness to be present to that maybe we just don't <laughs> understand it all. We don't have it all figured out. And so I will leave you with that. Um, and here's to twenty twenty two.